A really handy feature in Stat Graphics is something we call the Stat Gallery. The Stat Gallery is a window in which I can take multiple plots and either put them side by side so I can compare them or overlay them on top of each other. For example, here's a contour plot of a response surface from a designed experiment. The variable being contoured is strength, and it's color-coded from blue for low to red for high. The contour plot currently shows how strength varies as a function of cooling bar temperature and ceiling temperature, with the third factor polyethylene fixed at a value of 1. Now, let's press the right mouse button and ask to copy this pane to the Stat Gallery. It will pull up the Stat Gallery window, and it's currently configured with four separate panes into which I can paste graphs. I'll go to the upper left pane, press the right mouse button, and say Paste, at which point it will put the graph from that analysis window into that upper left pane. Now, let's go back to the analysis window and change the level of polyethylene. We do that by pressing the right mouse button, going to pane options, and then to factors. You'll see an edit field where I can change polyethylene from 1.0 to perhaps 1.3. Press OK twice, and you'll see a new modified contour plot. Okay, let's press the right mouse button, say copy pane to stat gallery, and then say right mouse paste. And now you can compare the two. You see a little bit more of a, of a red area here at a higher level of polyethylene. Well, let me go back and do it again. This time I'll set a level of 1.6 for polyethylene. Press the right mouse button, copy pane to stat gallery, paste it this time in the bottom left. One more time, pane options, factors, how about 1.9 for polyethylene? Press OK, OK, right mouse, copy pane to stat gallery, right mouse, paste, and I have a nice display so that I can see what happens to the contours as I change the level of polyethylene. By the way, if I was to print this, it would print all four graphs on a single page. Another very useful feature of the Stat Gallery is the ability to overlay plots on top of one another. For example, suppose you fit two different models to a set of data. I have fit two models here. I have a window with a square root reciprocal X model fit to samples of chlorine at different ages, and also a polynomial regression, fourth order polynomial regression, showing chlorine as a function of age. If I'd like to compare these two, it can be very useful to overlay them one on top of another. I'll do that by going to the first model, pressing the right mouse button, and selecting Copy Pane to Stat Gallery. Now, the Stat Gallery, by default, will have four panes. That's not what I want in this case, so I'll press the right mouse button within the Stat Gallery and go to Arrange Panes. Currently the arrangement is two by two. I actually want one position only. So I'll select that, press OK, and now the Stat Gallery has a single pane. If I press the right mouse button and select Paste, the graph of my first model is placed in the gallery. Now, let's go to my polynomial regression window where I fit a second model. I'll push the right mouse button, select Copy Pane to Stat Gallery. That'll take me right back to the Stat Gallery. I'll now push the right mouse button again and say Paste. 
before it does anything, it'll ask me, do I want to replace what's already there or do I want to overlay? I'll say overlay and click OK and you'll see the second model overlaid on the first. Very interesting here, I have two very different models. One where y is equal to the square root of alpha plus beta over x, and the second that's a fourth order polynomial. You can actually see that the fourth order polynomial is very close to that other model, at least within the range of my data, although I really wouldn't want to extrapolate with that polynomial. Incidentally, when you overlay graphs, it only overlays the second graph, the part of the second graph that's within the axes. The text and so forth remains solely from the first graph that's pasted into that pane of the gallery. Also, if the scales of the two graphs were different, you don't have to worry about it. The program will automatically adjust the scale of the second graph to match that of the first.